Are we ready for it? <laughs> this is so bad. This, I wonder, is this for real? Yeah, it's totally for real. Okay. Don't you think we Good morning. Good morning, honey. Is that how you're feeling today? I feel like I have a hospital hangover. Hospital? The hospital hangover is real. I feel like that. We slept. Yes, it was so we nice. did. It was so good to sleep in our own bed and sleep in. Even Ollie boy slept in. <laughs> he like. was, he, he like, I don't know what time he went out today. He was just like, you know what, guys? Today's a chill day. We're recovering from the hospital. No one interrupted my sleep last night. It's awesome. So yeah, it has been a day. But we're am. kind of feeling it. Yeah, just headache and low blood sugar and therapy and IVs and all the things. Yeah. <laughs> um, today I received. I told you guys a few days ago that I was that I got a call from um, our like home care supply that I was approved for the Dexcom. And so today I got the box in the mail and you can see that the Dexcom box threw up all over our floor. Here is the contents of the Dexcom box. So um, I went through like the setup stuff to set up the, so is this the receiver? Receiver, this so she was receiver. approved for the G4, which right. has this little receiver this thing. This is the receiver. Um, I suppose, that my insurance only approved the G4, not the G5. And when I asked about that, um, the man at the home care company was like, Mary, I've been asking the same question for a long time. <laughs> so um, it's totally fine. Yeah. It works. Yeah. And I am still learning about it because I think this is a different, this is G4 with share. So I think this is a little bit different than the one that I wore for the Dexcom trial. Um, but anyway, it'll work and I'm thankful for it and um, So the next step which we weren't able to film this when we had the Dexcom trial, but Because the nurse in the office was putting it on and so now we're home and we can Show you how the little transmitter goes on our first time. So yeah, don't take tips from this video Yeah, but uh, Dexcom if you're new to this is a continuous glucose monitor So instead of Mary pricking her finger all the time to check her blood sugar this does it continually and has a little uh, Screen that tells her what her blood sugar is Hi, buddy. Hey, mr. Five-year-old in one day poodle You're five years old. Do you want to get your new squeaky toy? Oh, your turkey? Right there. Your squeaky There's turkey? Your turkey. Does it squeak? Can you make it squeak? You can do it. Mm, it smells pretty nice though. Ooh, nice, oh, there's nice a squeak. Turkey. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you happy to be home? Oh. oh somebody just finished his dinner. Huh. So that turkey was good. I need to put this on. And last time I put it on the back of my arm. And I was having some pains with it, which I don't think is normal. Kind of felt like the sensor, which is like a wire that stays inside. It felt like it was like zapping my bone or something. Maybe a nerve. I don't know. But I think I'm going to put it like on my side right here. See how that goes. I think. Um, yeah, see what you we, like better. Yeah. And there's a bunch of different options of like placement. So um, we will try one and see how it goes. And uh, it's funny because the last couple of weeks my blood sugar was a little more stable and I wasn't dropping as often. And I was like, well, that's awesome. But it's funny timing that it's like right when we're trying to get a Dexcom approved. And then the day I get the Dexcom, my blood sugar's dropping. So I'm like, yeah. Good timing. It's, yeah. It's good timing. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the nature of my blood sugar. It, so, because, yeah. actually, we'll link to a video where we explain a lot more about it. But, because... <coughs> <coughs> because of scarring in my pancreas and just cystic fibrosis. Pancreasness. Um, my pancreas sometimes gives me too much insulin at the wrong time. And... <coughs> She, her blood sugar <coughs> drops. So, 
we're gonna try to use this tool to catch those before they drop and you know have some sugar and try to keep her more <coughs> functional because when it drops it's they I appreciate how they say it the, I think the Dexcom people say basically so you can spend less time in hypoglycemia yeah I'm like yes please <coughs> sometimes my body recovers real fast after I go low and sometimes it doesn't takes the whole day yeah yeah but sometimes I wonder like is this normal that it's taking my body this long to recover? So when we were with the diabetes nurse, um, she was like asking how my blood sugar has been and I told her like, you know, my recent drops or whatever and she was like, you were still talking and walking? And I was like, well, <laughs> I was feeling it. And she was like, yeah. So, like, okay, it's normal to not be feeling well when you're low. But anyway, hopefully this tool can help us spend less time in hypoglycemia. But before we put the sensor in, I just realized this imipenem is over. Um, so I'm gonna flush and heparin, and I realized that I forgot to take Zofran because now I'm nauseous, so. Oh! <laughs> Zofran deliver. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. Setting up your profile, and then Okay, here's the um, instructions. You're good at reading instructions. Yeah, one sec. Oh, okay. I suppose this is not something I can, well, I probably could, but I'll let you jam it in me. Fun. <laughs> so I'm just alcoholing. So we want to do it horizontally. Horizontally, like, like that? Yeah. Okay, and then you think I'm like, oh, I just touched it. Like right there. Okay. So I'll take this off first? Yep. How do you peel sticker? No matter which way. I don't think so. As we speak, I think my blood sugar is dropping again. So we're gonna just stick this on here, yep. like right there. Good? Stick it on like a sticker. Pull the applicator <laughs> and pull the safety lock straight out. We did that. It seemed so much easier on the video. What? Now I'm confused. Okay, so but I need to pinch it. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Okay, so, I did. Okay, are we ready for this? <laughs> this, is, this is for real? Yeah, it's totally for real. Okay, so I just go for it. Do I have to do it faster or does it matter? Yeah, just do it. Okay, ready, set, go. That hurt? Yeah, I mean, I felt it, but it okay. didn't really hurt. Do you think I did it right? Yeah. And I pull this. Yep. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Now what? I go of it. And then? It, you felt it. I, I felt it more than on my arm. Yeah. But it's totally fine. So pinch it and rock it forward. So pinch this, I guess. I don't understand. Rock it where? I've of course got diabetic Danica Wait. on here. Good, you got it. So can you see if this goes in this way? So it goes I don't understand in like why this. That thing's sticking it's out just though. blobbly like that. Okay. <laughs> so it just pops in. So it's like. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then hold on, let's rewatch that part. Ta da! And you just inserted a sensor with one hand. Did, did it do two clicks? Yeah. Alright, that's everything. Thank there it goes. So much for watching. And the two clicks are one on this side, one on this side. Yeah, okay. You'll be able to see. And then you just. And then you just twist this off. Twist that off. Ta -da! Awesome, you did it. And then you can just verify that they're both clicked in if you look on this side and this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Okay. Then. That was stressful. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> well, just, We're just learning. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. You're like, just do this. And then we do start sensor. And then in 10 minutes, the little antenna should show up. Cool. Good work. Good work to you. Let's do this. Let's do it. Another see the tool. Yeah, another tool in the tool belt. Another thing to stab, but yet another tool. So it's all gravy, baby. I feel like that could be a really good spot for it. Yeah, it really could. Awesome. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. <coughs> I would say when I had it put in my arm, I didn't feel it at all. And 
when I when we put it here, I felt what I expected to feel, which was like a like a so it's basically a needle going in, but then the needle comes back out and just the wire sensor stays in. So cool. First Dexcom at home in the books. What are you up to in here? Oh, I'm gonna make some pulled pork in the instant pot. So first it looks like he's sauteing some onions and then garlic and onions. And then he's got his meat prepared. Chicken stock and then do a cup of chicken uh, stock and barbecue sauce and put him in for an hour. Awesome. So guys, this is the reality of life after the hospital. It's not just bounce back to normal life. Uh, Mary's body's still fighting and she's still pretty much in the same spot she was in when she was in the hospital. And she is not feeling too well. So about all that work I did last night. Yeah. Really glad I did it while I felt the yeah. adrenaline. Yeah. I've said this before, like, I think adrenaline would be an amazing treatment yeah. if I could, like, give myself an adrenaline infusion. There you go. I know that that would be considered an EpiPen, but mm -hmm. I mean, like, a real, like, what if that could really be a treatment? But then I would be riding on adrenaline, I wouldn't be able to listen to my body. And crash but, like crazy. Oh, holy moly. So, she's gonna rest, and I'll, um, take care of her. Guess what? I'm out of bed. My head has been hurting pretty bad, but it is after midnight now, and guess what? My head does not hurt anymore. So I'm out of bed. Um, I was working on making some wall decals, and I was doing that in bed, but um, now that I'm out of bed, I came downstairs to mix my next dose of imipenem, and I'm currently hooked up to my vancomycin. Tomorrow at 10, 15 in the morning, we will go to the local like blood draw lab, and I will have my vancomycin dose drawn, or level. Um, it's right before my next dose, so they can see how much of the medication is still in my system after 12 hours. So, um... We'll do that tomorrow morning and then that will also be testing my white blood cells and my creatinine and uh, which is kidney marker and um, my platelets and the things that we have to keep an eye on so tomorrow hopefully tomorrow afternoon <laughs> we will get those results but while I'm down here and before I hook up my next um, antibiotic Maybe I should get back in bed. That headache is coming back, but I wanna hang up these little lights in my room. And I will also say, the first half a day on the Dexcom, it, my blood sugar has been like yo-yoing up and down, but it is catching my lows before I feel it, which is awesome. Like right now, I'm going to, it's telling me 72 with an arrow down, so. I should eat a little bit of something. I'll try to eat a granola bar. Even though I'm not hungry. Life. Um, I'll grab a granola bar. Um, these are my granola bars I've been into. It's sweet and salty. Mm. Okay, so anyway, I am going to put up these little tiny Christmas lights. And no, they do not work but they kind of look like they're on because they're shiny, so I'm gonna put them up. And now I just hung up the little painting and I put the little Christmas tree there. So I'd say it's November 29th and we are almost ready for Christmas because this is our countdown to December. And there we go tiny room. Okay, literally I just came back upstairs and my Dexcom is saying I don't know if that's gonna focus 52 and heading down and I was like, wait a second I literally don't feel like it, so I thought it was an error but it is not. I just tested. So I am now going to treat for this low and 
be very thankful for this machine. I just yelled to Peter and I told him what just happened. And he was like, and you don't feel it. And I was like, no, not at all. And he's like, you probably wouldn't have checked, would you? No, I don't feel it at all. And he was like, there you go. Thankful for it. Another tool in the tool belt. And that's exactly what I thought too. Come on, sugar, do your job. Paw Patrol to the rescue. Going in the right direction. I finished all my gummies and my uh, granola bar, so hopefully that'll uh, start going up. And while I wait for my blood sugar to come up, I'll finish my casting for the night. Getting closer, woohoo! And I'm 116. Happy blood zone. Well, hey guys. What a day. Hospital hangover day. A little worn out, and we're gonna get some more sleep. And thanks for coming on our day with us today. And as, as always, always, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. And time for the after party. The poodle. You got your pole hanging off of bed, buddy. Say goodnight to the people. Good night, guys.